At the outbreak of World War I, Hungary was part of the dualist monarchy, Austria-Hungary. Although there are no significant battles specifically connected to Hungarian regiments, the troops suffered high losses throughout the war. The outbreak of the wars In 1914, Austria-Hungary was one of the great powers of Europe, with an area of 676,443 square kilometres and a population of 52 million, of which Hungary had 325,400 square kilometres with population of 21 million. On June 28, 1914, Gavrilo Princip assassinated Archduke Franz Ferdinand of Austria. Before entering the war, only the Prime Minister Count Istvan Tizza hesitated, unconvinced that it was the best time to engage in battle. As soon as Germany promised to neutralize the Kingdom of Romania and promised that no territories of the Kingdom of Serbia would be annexed to Austria-Hungary, he then decided to support the war. After the ultimatum sent to Serbia by Franz Joseph I, the war broke out and soon spread over much of Europe and beyond. The Army of Austria-Hungary in 1914 The first line of this multi-ethnic army was based and consisted of the so-called common army and common navy, where the language was German, and was 87% of the total army, the Landwehr of the Austrian army, the Royal Hungarian Honvedzake, where the language was Hungarian and Croatian, the second line of the army was the mobilized Landsturm of the Austrians Neifelkeles Folk Uprising of Hungarians. In 1914, the Austrian Hungarian army was facing its greatest challenge so far in history. After mobilization, the armed forces were grouped to six armies, totaling 3.2 million soldiers. Between 1914 and 1918, 9 million served in the army, 7.8 million in the fighting forces. In comparison to the other armies of Europe, Hungary's experienced veteran armed forces, technical equipment, and military expenditures were underdeveloped. The artillery was not sufficient, but it was heavily developed later in the war. The correct supply of ammunition was not solved even by the end of the war. The armed forces lacked an adequate air force, it had only 42 military and 40 sport airplanes before the war. Unifying the multi-ethnic units was also a serious problem for the military's leaders. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Hungarian participation. The military forces of Austria-Hungary remained largely unified over the course of the war, in spite of their multi-ethnic nature and some expectations to the contrary. While German support was undoubtedly critical to the success of various offensives such as the Gaulistano offensive and the Battle of Caporetto, the multi-ethnic armies of Austria-Hungary proved fully capable in a defensive role in all the theatres of the war in which they were engaged. The predominantly ethnic German commanders of the army generally favored troops of German extraction, but ethnic Hungarian troops were also seen as being reliable and were widely used on the front lines, especially on the Russian front and Italian front. For the most part, troops from other ethnic groups within the empire were less likely to be placed in strategically critical positions and therefore had lower casualties. Over the course of World War I there was never a documented offensive by purely ethnic Hungarian troops, but such troops did contribute positively to the outcome of various battles, as follows On December 3–15, 1914 during the Battle of La Manoa, the «Russian steamroller» was held back, especially by the Hussars. 
Lieutenant General Joseph Roth attacked the Russian Third Army, and on the right wing, the 10th Budapest and 11th Debrecen Cavalry Divisions engaged in a man-to-man -man fight and were decisive. On December 11, Colonel Otmore Muhr died in a heroic defense leading the Sopron 9th Cavalry Regiment. Lieutenant General Artur Arz, together with Lieutenant General Imre Hadfi, leading the 39th Kassa Division, destroyed the 15th Russian Division in Livno. During the Siege of Chemischel, which defense was commanded by General Hermann Kuzmanik, the main defense line, consisting of Hungarian troops, guarded the fortress for five months from November 1915. The defenders were commanded by Orpaid Tamasi, leading the 23rd Segud Division. After the depletion of ammunition and food reserves, Chemischel capitulated, leaving 120,000 prisoners of war. On the Asonzo front, Hungarian forces participated in all 12 battles. On the Dobadu Plateau and near Karst, the most serious battles were fought by Hungarians, who composed one-third of the total armed forces. In particular, the 20th Nagy Vorid and 17th Budapest Common Regiments distinguished themselves. On June 15, 1918, near the River Piave, the 6th Army commanded by Archduke Joseph August took over most part of Mount Montello and held it until the end of the war. Decisive fights were carried out by the 31st Budapest Common Regiment and the 11th Debrecen Division. The troops raised in the Kingdom of Hungary spent little time defending the actual territory of Hungary, with the exceptions of the Brusilov Offensive in June 1916, and a few months later, when the Romanian army invaded Transylvania, both of which were repelled. A small number of troops from Austria-Hungary also fought in more distant theatres of war that are beyond the borders of the Austria-Hungary, including the Gallipoli Campaign, and in the Sinai Peninsula and Palestine. <laughs> <laughs> Military leaders Some military leaders who have received the Commander's Cross of the Military Order of Maria Theresa, the most renowned medal Colonel General Arthur Arz von Straussenberg 1914 December, Battle of La Manoa 1915 May, Gaulis Tarno Offensive, leading Legion Casa 6 1916 October, leading First Army, defending Transylvania from Romanian forces Archduke Joseph August of Austria 1915 During the 2–4 Battle of the Isonzo, he defended Dobadu Plateau 1916 December, Constable of Army, successful offensives in Russian front Field Marshal Hermann Kovis von Kovishazer 1915 August, leading Legion Nagyzeben 12. He captured Iwanogrod. 1915 October, commander of Third Army, occupied Kingdom of Serbia. 1916 January to February, occupied Montenegro and north of Albania. Topic: <laughs> Losses. Out of over 2.2 million men mobilized in Austria-Hungary, more than 1 million died during the course of the war. In Hungarian areas, this meant a death rate of 28 per thousand persons, a level of loss exceeded within Austria-Hungary only by German Austrians. In comparison to the total army, Hungary's loss ratio was more than any other nations of Austria-Hungary. There could be two possible causes. Hungary was more an agricultural country, where it is easier to mobilize forces, rather than from more industrialized territories, i.e., Bohemia, and secondly, the Hungarian soldiers were considered to be more trustworthy and disciplined than soldiers from other ethnic groups. The war aims of Hungary In contrast to the cases of Germany, France or Italy, the question of World War I aims of Hungary remains almost unexplored. 
However, as the Kingdom of Hungary was the most politically stable part of the Habsburg monarchy, it strongly impacted the dual monarchy's war plans. The main concerns of the government in Budapest were directed by the fears for the integrity of Hungary. In July 1914, its Prime Minister, István Tisza, convinced the monarchy's Crown Council not to demand new territories from Serbia. In parallel, the Hungarian opposition secretly informed the Entente that an independent Hungary could be proclaimed, ready to sign a separate peace treaty if her frontiers were guaranteed. An opposition leader, Mihaly Karelyi, entered into contacts with Italians, British and French. In the autumn of 1915, with Austro-Hungarian army successes, the secessionist moods in Budapest cooled down. Hungarian politicians turned towards the annexation of northern Serbia, and possibly Montenegro. When Austria envisaged the joining of Poland, Tisza insisted in Vienna to include Bosnia-Herzegovina and probably Dalmatia in Hungary. However, when Romania declared war on the Habsburg monarchy in August 1916, the Tisza government anticipated annexations of Romanian lands, whereas the Hungarian radical opposition in the parliament independentists, led by Mihaly Karelyi, reinforced the separatist propaganda. In March 1917, Tisza proposed to the Crown Council of the Monarchy to divide Romania between Hungary and Russia, leaving a little Romanian buffer state. Yet, according to the Bucharest Peace Treaty, the 7th of May 1918, Romania only ceded Carpathian mountain passes to Hungary. The next success of Hungarian territorial expansionism was the Habsburgs' approval of the attachment of Bosnia-Herzegovina and Dalmatia to the kingdom in October 1918. Expecting the collapse of the Central Powers, Karelyi was allowed by the Imperator King to form a government in Budapest. This government declared the independence of Hungary on 31 October 1918. However, it did not stop the Entente and its allies from raising territorial claims against Hungary. They finally gave three-quarter of pre-war Hungary to surrounding countries by the peace treaty of Trianon the 4th of June 1920. Topic: <laughs> Aftermath On November 11, 1918, World War I ended for Austria-Hungary with a complete military loss, even if at the time of the collapse, all forces were standing outside the borders of 1914. With the collapse of the army, Austria-Hungary also collapsed. The ethnic groups of Kingdom of Hungary called for independent nation-states. In the Treaty of Trianon signed on June 4, 1920, Hungary lost two-thirds of its territory, more than half of its population, more territory than any other country at that time excluding colonies. Eight million Hungarians left in Hungary, and more than three million Hungarians were stranded outside of the newly established borders. New nations, such as Czechoslovakia, Poland, and Kingdom of Serbs, Croats and Slovenes were established and some already existing countries have extended their territories Italy and Romania. The southern part of Hungary was given to Yugoslavia and renamed Vojvodina. Bosnia-Herzegovina was also incorporated in Yugoslavia and Croatia became part of Yugoslavia also, after a 900-year federation with Hungary. More than 104,000 square kilometers the whole of eastern Hungary and Transylvania were awarded by the Entente to Romania, more than what was left for Hungary itself 93,030 square kilometers. The northern part of Hungary was annexed by the newly created Czechoslovakia. These newly created or greatly enlarged states formed the Little Entente after the war encircling Hungary in order to make border re-establishment impossible. The Hungarian army was reduced to a mere 30,000 troops, Hungary was forbidden to have an air force, tanks, and any sophisticated weapons. 
The borders were set in such a way that all natural defense lines were crossed making the remaining territory totally vulnerable and difficult to defend. See also World War I Aftermath of World War I